Hey, this is Marcus from Holosuite, and I'm here to help ambient and experimental artists make more, better music. Now, something I hear quite a lot from my clients is that they don't like to promote their music or they're not comfortable promoting their music. And look, I completely understand. Obviously, there are a couple of reasons why this might happen. Firstly, you might just be scared about making yourself vulnerable to strangers. And I totally understand that. People will often say things like, oh, I don't want to intrude on people or I don't want to bother them. And if it's something I've learned from business is that most people aren't usually bothered. And if they are, they will either you know, tell you to get lost or they'll unsubscribe. They won't answer to your emails. They you know, won't respond to your Instagram post. And look, the other thing is, of course, that it does take a lot of effort to get people to notice you. And it is a bit of a slog. And so some people do feel that they get quite exhausted kind of making, uh, making all these uh, posts about music that they're putting up and then not necessarily getting a response and then feeling like uh, they've wasted their time. And so I understand this too. But I wanna help reframe how you think about this to perhaps get you to uh, move forward as an artist because it can be very inhibiting if you're not getting an audience. So look, how can we reframe this? I think the best way to think about it is that each album or EP or single that you release should be leveraged to make the next release bigger, right? So whenever we put out a release, we want as many people to you know, get their ears on it as possible. And then we want those people to uh, be there when the next album comes out. So, and then hopefully they'll tell their friends. And then we each time we're building and building and building. So each person we gain along the way stays with us throughout the trip. And then we're just getting new people each time. So one way we can do this that I found really helpful is using those free download codes on Bandcamp. Now you should be giving these away to as many people as possible. And yes, of course, those people are not going to pay for your album because they're getting it for free. But whenever they download, they're getting the option to sign up to your mailing list. And not everyone's gonna say yes, but the people who do are going to then be there when your next album gets released, they're gonna get notified and you never know, they might even buy it. So each time we're adding these people and obviously having that interaction, that, that ready-made audience whenever the next release comes out is gonna give us that confidence to keep going. And so, of course, we do have to keep nurturing those people and you know you can turn your mailing list into a newsletter if you're interested in just sharing what you're doing. People are more interested in what you're up to than you might think, particularly when it comes to your music. So I think it's really important to keep building that snowball so by the time you've put out a few releases your audience is starting to kind of gain traction and that's when you really start to see the results of the music that you've been putting out so if you found this helpful i've made a little guide uh, about how to get the most out of your band camp you'll find the link in the description please go get a copy and please like and subscribe to my channel uh, for more content on making ambient and experimental music cheers